It's nice like tonight that it doesn't really matter where you are. One of the better views in all of Australia. G'day guys, so we continue to zig and zag. We are back in New South Wales, currently sitting here at Byron and we're staying at Kingscliff. <laughs> Enjoy! Oh my God. Alrighty, so this is the first time on our trip where winging it hasn't really worked, is it? <laughs> the first time. Really funny, though. What do you mean? Well, we wing it all the time and it never works out. No, well, this is the first time we've really struggled with accommodation. So we've, we're back in New South Wales purely because we have to hang around the Brisbane area to get some electrical work done or checked out in the canopy. But we didn't know... Labor Day weekend is actually in May, so we've had school holidays for Queensland, we've had Anzac Day weekend, and now we've got May's Labor Day weekend back to back to back. We've winged everything else up into the trip until now, so 100 days of winging, yeah, and we're back in Kingscliff, so which I think we tried about at least half a dozen places to try and book, and they're all fully booked out, so yeah. everywhere basically from Byron through to Harvey Bay was completely booked out for this weekend. We tried everywhere, even 50, 70K inland. Yeah, um, on hip camps and everything. Yeah, a little bit stressful. We wasted half a day actually looking for it. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're here in Byron today. The pass is right behind us. Gonna go check out the lighthouse and uh, got a couple of nights here before we head back up the coast somewhere once this weekend's over. So don't know what we're doing or how we're doing it, but we'll find a way and uh, as long as the weather's good, we're outside. Kids are having a ball and um, yeah. Looking forward to it. like tonight and we are currently in Kingscliff Ingenia Resort or something like that. I'm not really going to talk about the place we're staying anymore because it's, it's the only place we get into and we didn't choose it out of, uh, what's the word, we didn't choose it because we wanted to be, it was just the only place we could get into. It's not bad, it's close to the highway, um, we'll be able to sort of duck up north tomorrow but it's nice like tonight where there's no wind. What do you reckon Trina? How hot? 25? 25, 26. 25. Footies on. Warm. Warm. There's a playground here. Lego. There's a playground. Playground. Here. With a lamb and leg in the ziggy over there. A lamb and leg. Can you tell me? A leg of lamb. Had some wine? And I've had a bottle of pepper jack. But it's it's not as I said, it's nice like tonight that it doesn't really matter where you are. It's just good to be outside and it's good to be on the road. 
that's all I got to say about that. And that's all. What's he saying? And that's all I've got to say about that. And that's all I've got to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. So having a couple of beers at the Sandstone Point Hotel, which is right next to our um, Sandstone Point Holiday Resort, which is the best caro park in Australia. I've got no doubt about that. I've never been every one of them, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be top. So uh, this place is pretty damn impressive in itself. It's massive. Um, got the rest of the fam over there. We're overlooking. I can't think of the name of. The channel that runs through here, that's probably island over the bridge. Uh, the playground in the back here is ridiculous. I'll show you some footage of that. Um, but just heaps of space. They've got an oyster shed down the bottom there, sits on the water. And then the pub itself is just, it's massive. There's a wedding going on at the back here. You wouldn't even know it's here. Um, it just separates things really well. So, yeah, Sandstone Point, I am loving the luxury. Living in a caravan, but feeling like you're not, to be honest, so, good spot. Point Holiday Resort just at the entrance to Bribery Island actually before the, the bridge it's it's basically a resort and it allows caravans to, to camp up there it is so well done there won't be there won't be another caravan park that's better on our travels I can guarantee that right now um, it just had it all and like people whinge at its pricey and all that sort of thing but you pay the money and 
you don't leave you don't have to leave the place like you, you you're there we didn't leave the water basically for six nights we actually booked four uh to begin with because that's all we could get in and extended by another two so a total of six nights i think our initial four were during the week and they were about 81 dollars with big four discount and with the friday saturday tacked on it actually probably our average night cost us about 95 ish so yeah it's pricey but as i said like it's got I think there's three pools. There's a spa, there's a swim up bar, which I certainly frequented. There's a gym, which was the first gym we've seen in our travels. Didn't use it though. There is mini golf, playground, tennis, uh, basketball, table tennis. There's two kids rooms, one for little kids, one for big kids. There's access to the, the beach. Uh, you got the, the massive sandstone point hotel next door. Playground. Um, the playground, good job babes. Uh, and beach, and they beach. can build sandcastles. They build sandcastles. No, it's just, um, it, it's really cool. There's, there's about, I don't know, seven different toilets throughout the, the whole place for showers and toilets. Seven different camp kitchens. You can get go-karts. It's just, I don't know, the list goes on. It was, it was, I was blown away. And to be honest, like Brightview Island, we, we were like literally a couple of hundred meters across the bridge and we were there, but we didn't go. We went, we went there to go to the Target and the Woolies. Target's probably one of the worst targets I've ever seen. And we went to Wurrum Beach one day, but I don't know, they're, they're just, there was enough at the pool, at that, sorry, at the resort, to hang out there. So there's a cafe, served your food. I, I could keep talking about it all day. What do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon, kids? Good, and it had a water park. It did have a water park. I forgot the water park. The water park's the main feature. Absolute paradise. What do you think, Will Will? beach. What about the pool mate? You were swimming a lot. You were swimming a lot weren't you? Trina, Trina spent most of her time on the cocktails the whole time over there so I had the very responsible adult. But no it's just the sites themselves are big, they're spacious. We actually had another brilliant caravan which is our caravan um, brand pull up right next to us so even made a bunch of friends. I don't know it's just, just a, a cool spot, really cool spot. So. Glad we come, and honestly, I think it's a destination within itself. Like, you could come here and just do that and nothing else. Like a lovely necklace! What'd you get? That. I haven't had one of these for years. These Ooh. are delicious. So, we're just in the Sunshine Coast hinterland at a town called Melanie. Just stopped at the Lolly and Treat, treat Shop. We've all got our own little treat. I got fudge, Snickers fudge. Got a little snappy, got some candy necklaces. But yeah, I want to get some sunset photos up here at a place that overlooks the Glasshouse Mountains. I reckon it's one of the better views in all of Australia, so. I don't know I so I'm just up on Mountain View Road in Melanie, or just outside of Melanie. Uh, I dropped the kids and Trina back at Mary Can Cross or Cane Cross Park. About 5k away. Um, Sunset's just happening as you can sort of see in the background, or about to, and I am here. See that tree? And if you can see that on the wide angle behind you, um, the Glasshouse Mountains, you got Morton Island, Morton Bay over there. You can just see the Brisbane skyline between the two peaks on the right there, um, shining in the sun. And you got this uh, this solo tree. So I think you can actually get access to this property if you ring and ask. Uh, the, the homeowners or the landowners, but I'm not that organized and to be honest, so I've just been standing on top of my wheel <laughs> um, on the car on the side of the road, just getting a bit more height so I can kind of look down on a bit more of an angle than what that currently is showing as well. So sort of show a few of them. Just got to be careful because I am on the side of the road here. Um, and as the cars are coming closest to us going that way, I'm in a bit of a blind spot as well. So anyway, I reckon I've got the shots I want here. I'm going to go further up the road where there's an actual lookout. Uh, and I can zoom in a bit more and not sort of focus more on the tree. Actually get the mountains themselves as that sky behind them turns sort of pinks and um, pinks and purples and everything. So, well, that's the plan, hopefully. I'm sure it will. The sun's setting over there in the west. That's looking sort of southeast. So it'll be a bit, of a, be a bit more of a uh, reverse sunset. But the Glasshouse Mountains for me, there's not many better views or vistas lookouts, landscapes in Australia, I reckon. So, 
see how we go. to an end it's been a month almost to the day i think we've been there so the last three nights we're in cotton tree in maroochydore now i wouldn't say it was a bad place but i think we've just been spoiled for choice everywhere else we've been so it was just a quiet stay really we didn't do a whole lot didn't do a lot of filming i think i got the drone up once so i might show you a bit of that i don't know southeast queensland for, for me we didn't i didn't go into the trip expecting to spend a month there but even the Gold Coast sort of blew us away. So Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, and then Sandstone Point in between. Caught up with family, did a lot of things there. But it's time to move on. The weather's starting to get a bit cold. It's time to start heading north uh, and chasing that sun even more. So yeah, Cotton Tree. Richie Doyle will say, I reckon, has got some of the weirdest and most confusing town planning or roads in the country. It's just really hard to get between places without zigging and zagging everywhere. Kind of like our stay out in South East Queensland, we, we get zigged and zagged each and every way. So what do you reckon guys? Did you enjoy your time in South East Queensland to start yeah. our Queensland journey? Yeah, and we, and we went to Aussie World. Aussie yeah, World, Dream World, yeah, on the plane Wet and Wild. Now. You made some good friends. I got yeah, your nanny and yeah. pop. Yep. Yeah. Your uncle and It so. was really good. It was a really relaxing part of our trip. Like for us, we probably stayed six nights at most places, which is just unheard of for us. So it was really nice to just kind of kick back. But now we're going to get moving, I think, because of it. And we're going to get back into low cost and free camping if they even exist up, up north, but we have absolutely blown the budget out of the water. Not sure how this latest episode will come together, because it was kind of a bit all over the shop, I don't know how much we filmed, but uh, yeah, onwards and upwards, literally. Cheers, guys.